What it really takes for ChatGPT to answer your dumb questions. The energy consumption of these AI systems is massive. Today, we're talking about the massive costs associated with building and maintaining artificial intelligence systems. Companies like OpenAI are spending billions of dollars on resources to support their AI models. GPUs are specialized processors used for rendering images in video games, mining bitcoins, and powering AI systems. Due to their popularity in these sectors, affordable GPUs are hard to find. Even big tech companies like Facebook and Tesla are stockpiling GPUs for their AI projects. And it's not just GPUs that are expensive. The compute resources required to train and deploy large language models, LLMs, like OpenAI's GPT-4 can cost millions of dollars. In fact, OpenAI published a report stating that the amount of compute used in AI training runs has been increasing exponentially. Absolutely. The more compute resources you have, the better the performance of the AI models. And as these models get more advanced and require larger data sets, the physical infrastructure to support them needs to scale up as well. But here's the catch. The energy consumption of these AI systems is massive. They require a lot of hardware and electricity to run. OpenAI's CEO, Sam Altman, has even said that he would prefer fewer users of their popular chat GPT bot because they don't have enough GPUs to meet the demand. And this has led to a situation where compute costs for AI development are incredibly high. In fact, some AI companies spend more than 80% of their total capital on compute resources alone. This puts smaller competitors at a disadvantage compared to big tech corporations who have access to ample resources and billions of dollars in investments. It's also worth noting that the AI sector is becoming less transparent. Companies like OpenAI and Google are not sharing details about the energy use and environmental impact of their AI systems. This lack of transparency makes it difficult to fully understand the contributions of AI to climate change. That's true, and it's not just the environmental impact that we should be concerned about. The advancements in AI capabilities are often overshadowed by fears of a robo-human consciousness or singularity. But we need to remember that there are physical limits to what AI can do, and these limits have real-world consequences. Absolutely. Now let's dive into the technical details of how AI systems like ChatGPT work. The backbone of ChatGPT is a generative pre-trained transformer, or GPT for short. The transformer is a neural network architecture invented by Google in 2017. It's a unique type of neural network that requires less computation to train compared to previous models. This means that you can feed a transformer more information while using less energy, time, and money. And that's where the GP and GPT comes in. OpenAI added the generative pre-trained innovation to the transformer. This means that the AI model has been pre-trained out a large data set, like text scraped from books and webpages, to learn various language patterns and contexts. And because of this pre-training, GPT models are capable of generating text based on what they've learned. It's important to note that these models are trained on billions of parameters, which are essentially the synapses of neural networks. So while AI systems like ChatGPT have incredible capabilities, they come at a cost. The energy consumption and compute resources required to build and maintain these systems are massive. And without transparency from big tech companies, it's difficult to fully understand the environmental impact of AI. The significant energy requirements of AI, starting with the data collection process. Text data for AI training is often scraped from various websites, which can overwhelm servers and increase energy usage. Companies like Microsoft are constructing large data centers to store this data, and these centers release hundreds of metric tons of carbon emissions. And it's not just about data storage. The process of training the neural network itself requires a substantial amount of energy. The bigger the model, the faster and more accurate its output will be. Fine-tuning and reinforcement learning processes are used to refine and expand the model after initial training is complete. This involves human trainers providing feedback and additional data to improve the system. But here's where it gets interesting. While fine-tuning can happen during research and development, reinforcement learning from human feedback, or RLHF, is often outsourced to millions of users. For example, when you use chat GPT and provide feedback by clicking thumbs up or thumbs down icons or explicitly telling it if it's right or wrong, you're contributing to RLHF. It's a collaborative effort to make the AI system better, but it also means that the model is being deployed for use in real-world scenarios. This process is known as inference, 
where the AI system generates responses and outputs based on its training. The costs to inference chat GPT alone exceed the training costs on a weekly basis. In fact, it is estimated that chat GPT costs $694,444 per day to operate in compute hardware costs, which equates to about 36 cents per interaction. And this is just for text output. And let's not forget the initial training cost. The compute cost for training models like GPT-3 was estimated to be around $12 million, which is 200 times the cost of training its predecessor, GPT-2. The energy consumption for training GPT-3 alone consumed up to 1,287 megawatt hours of electricity, enough to power about 360 homes for a year. It's mind-boggling when you think about the resources needed for AI development, and it's not just about text output. When we consider image and video generation, the energy and emissions tolls increase even further. So while AI has incredible potential, we need to be mindful of its environmental impact. Absolutely. And that brings us to the question of sustainability. Many developers are now working on power-efficient neural models and advanced pre-training techniques to reduce the need for intensive fine-tuning. And this is crucial because the energy and resources required for AI development are competing with our efforts to mitigate climate change. We need clean energy sources for our everyday needs, but these same sources are also needed to power AI systems. The semiconductors and chips used in AI data centers are needed for clean energy setups and electric vehicles. The rapid development of AI without considering the environmental consequences seemed harder to justify in a time when we're already experiencing the impacts of climate change. We need to find a balance between technological advancement and sustainability. Absolutely. It's important for big tech companies to be transparent about the environmental impact of AI and work towards more sustainable practices. We need responsible development that takes into account not just the capabilities of AI, but also its carbon footprint. Do us a favor and please hit subscribe and maybe even tell a friend. Now let's keep the discussion going, taking a look at...